We're heading up to Iowa Hill. We have to cross the American River to get to Iowa Hill and then Big Grove. We'll work with Iowa Hill and Mineral Bar and this bridge. And all these areas eventually. There's a lot of secluded residence, residential area. This is rural Iowa Hill. Of course, I consider all of Iowa Hill rural. It is in the middle of the Sierra Nevadas. But it's heavily forested. That's because this area has not been touched by forest fire in years. Although the forest fire on the opposite side of Iowa Hill came close to Big Grove, they said they saved the trees, but next time may not be such a lucky thing. The road begins at a fairly, it's not, it's a gradual ascension, and then it turns into one of the steepest, it turns into one of the steepest roads in California, one of the most narrow steepest roads. Make sure I'm on Iowa Hill, though. I don't know. That side road was whatever. That's how Iowa Hill was paved. This one looked paved. It's supposed to be. <laughs> we'll look up here. I'm going south. It's a narrow road. Jesus. It's a lot of little creeks. No, it's paved up here, but it's got. It appears that it has some crappy sections in it too. What's new? And then we go through the canopy of trees. Definitely rural. They didn't get electricity up here till a year ago, from what I read in telephone lines in 2010. So you can imagine how hard life was. Of course, most of the people up here died of accidental deaths, killings, shootings in saloons. Oh, what the hell? There's a lost dog on the road? Look at that. I don't think it's a lost dog. Oh, uh, no. They have lost that guy. Uh -oh. Look in there. Dog almost ran up to the door. Some paved road. When you go up the ascension law, it's nicely paved. Because I just seen a recent I, picture. I watched a video all down the road and it, it was all paved. They were on a right, right. They were on one of those boards going yeah, down the road. That's what I'm saying. So, I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know if we're even on the right road. Well, the other one said green road, unless unless that's not it. I'll have to look on the GPS, my GPS, and just you do view map and just see, make sure we're on the right road. How will you use the GPS on that thing? Is it that thing? Oh, because it doesn't work. Who's back there? It's all fenced. It's probably a pot farm. They have those around here. You can even see them sometimes on Google Earth if you look from above all the hangers and, and plants. You can see circular, like a hundred circular areas. Well, a lot of people have a license to grow it out here illegally. Medicinal, medicinal licenses. And then they sell it to the dispensaries. It's a narrow road. I don't know if we're on the right road. I know we're going the right direction. South, southeast right now and then it veers east, but... Look at this. It's like nothing back here, man. That's what I'm saying. Why is this so... Why is the fence there? I don't know. Oh. It's pretty steep in this canyon. You're not supposed to hit a canyon yet until you cross the American River and then you follow it up the top of the ridge to Iowa Hill. They call this paved, but half of the pavement's missing. You know what I'm saying? I seen a good picture of a paved road. Unless from the video of somebody driving down the road. Right. That's what I'm saying. That makes sense. Because it didn't look like this. No. Well, we were on Yankee Gyms. Here. Up our This is feet area. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the friggin'. 
Well, we'll see. If it's, the, if it's mineral bar and all that, we're at the right area. You'll see the suspension bridge that crosses the river, and then you'll see the other bridge, the new one that they put in. If, they, if I don't see the suspension bridge, we're not going the right way. Let's see what it says here. Oh. No barbecues allowed. Of course. These people are responsible. They don't put out their coals or their fires. It's not horribly bad. You can drive a car on it. It's just... You gotta watch out for some of those poles. Look at the sun. Because of the smoke. Honey, there isn't a map. It's direction. Oh, it just says, follow Yankee Jim's Road oh. to Iowa Hill Road. That's yeah. all it says. I thought he printed out. Huh? I thought he printed out. No, it takes ink, and I, I already have it memorized. It goes it goes southeast, and then it starts to head up northeast and follow the American River once you get to the bridge and to Iowa Hill, and then you go back on the backside of the reservoir to the Grove. So it's not a big deal. It's not like we're going to get stuck back here, and it's not too bad. It's just a, hairpin, a lot of hairpin turns, and... I should be hitting the river soon. Mm -hmm. This might be that canyon. That something tail canyon or whatever. That's what it might be. Once we're out of the canyon, it'll be fine. When you get to the bridge, there's Devil's Canyon too. Thereby. All these weird names that they have. Different canyons and lakes and rivers around here. Thick. Yeah, this is Bigfoot area too. It's part of the Tahoe Forest right here. It's a part of the Tahoe Forest we really haven't done much at. You know, it's dead woods out here, last chance, all that. It's all in this area. Michigan Bluff, very dense forest. There's the river. Is that the American River? I don't know. Do I look like a geologist? I think that that's river, a riverologist. I think that's the American River. Hold on. I need. Okay. Well, you don't need to put me on the edge like that. Put me on the edge. I'm scared. Put me on the edge, man. Don't put me on the edge. I'm gonna fall off. Even though all four wheels are on the road. Look at those flowers, man. That's the river. We're going to cross the bridge soon. Wow. Pretty country here. Yeah, well, that's the American River. The river divides the Sierras, what? That's really deep. The water? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That my dad intentionally didn't drive on that road. I never did that bridge ever again the rest of my life. You know, the time I lived there. Let's go snoop around a little bit. This was a mining camp where the bridges, and this is the mine. They started, yeah. It's where they started doing mines. We gotta drive across that bridge. Is the truck gonna be okay? It's not more than three tons. It's not fifteen thousand pounds. It looks better over here. Look. Road. Does it? Yeah. Oh, great. No, they just didn't dig any further. Come here. It's all right. It's not going to collapse with us on it. 1930? Huh. Crazy. The American River. 
Has what? The American River facing southwest. This is the North Fork. It's definitely a sight to see. We're on a cliff, so I need to get back to Iowa Hill Road. I just wanted to show you the American River looking straight down at it. We're on Iowa Hill Road, and right when you get a little ways down the road, about a half mile, you look up in the woods and you got a velociraptor. It's supposed to be one of the steepest, most narrow roads in California, and it will climb. It's level now, but it will climb. Cannot wait. We're heading up Iowa Hill. It's barely a two-lane road, but it's going to get a lot narrower. I seen a sign spray paint on rocks. It said seven miles to Iowa Hill cold beer. Nice sign to see. Although I did bring myself a Samuel Adams and I'm gonna spend the day relaxing, hiking around, exploring. Very simple day. The most complex part of it is probably taking these roads along the cliffs and making sure you give enough room for people to pass by. Some guy almost hit me head on because he's afraid to hug the cliff. It's like, don't be afraid to go on the edge. It's not eroded. It's concrete, it's paved, you're not going to go off. But people are, don't, a lot of tourists don't have the experience. They don't live in the mountains like I do, and they're not used to this type of terrain. It don't bother me. I didn't go to bed last night all worrying about this road. I thought, I, my biggest worry is other human beings that are driving on this road, not the road itself. Because people panic and do stupid stuff. They don't want to get over Warning, uh, probably ice and snow. You won't want to no, drive this. It was a small sign, probably about squirrels. Mineral Bar. Mineral Bar area. This is where you gold pan. There's actually, Mineral Bar was a, a settlement. It's no longer a settlement. They made it in a campground, but the bridge is historic. The Stevens Trail is historic. And you can gold pan, swim. You can spend time just enjoying the historical bridge. We'll come back on the way home and we'll check out Mineral Bar. I want to check it out a little bit, walk around. But for now, videotape us crossing the videotape it, crossing the well, new bridge. And when I come back today, I'll give a history about the bridge and Stevens Trail. Used to have a toll road. Got the American River, the North Fork to our right. And then we cross the bridge and it'll be to our left. And just imagine, once we cross the bridge, we gotta climb all the way to the top of the mountains where Iowa Hill is. It used to be called Iowa City. And they had billiards, bowling alley, two or three dry goods stores, hotels, saloons, over 400 houses, residential area, about 10,000 people living in it. Bowling alleys, I couldn't believe it when I heard that. 1850s is when it all began. Here's Mineral Bar right here. These people park up here, they hike around. Holy crap, look at that roadway up there at the top, the concrete barrier. We are deep in the canyon. And then we gotta climb out of the canyon. Yeah, there's the bridge coming up. It's not as bad of a road as they make it out to be. People are all panicking. I'll still film it so other people can see that they can take I was a view. Say, I watched it. That's what I'm saying. I'll... Fee area, pay at bridge. Well, that's if you park. Like right here. Penny Weight Trail. Yeah, there's trails back here. Pretty trails. More offbeat. You don't have to deal with as many people. Mineral Bar, once you cross the bridge, there it is. There's the parking lot to Mineral Bar to the left. And then the bridge is right up here. Yeah, we'll come back to Mineral Bar. Like down here. Because I'll show you if we can find it. Where is it? Right here. Look. Oh, the suspension bridge. Yeah, that you walk across. It's got wood planks. Look at that, folks. Road narrows. Can it get any more narrow than this? Probably. People got a tent set up right there by the river, but it's ass to ass. I don't like ass to ass camping. Even if it is beautiful here, it's too ass to ass. We're going to be entering the high Sierras coming up. Anybody got to use the bathroom? You got to use the bathroom? Okay. Mm. All right. 
seven to eight miles of climbing up this narrow road, rock slide area. One of the most curvy, steepest roads in the state of California. I don't believe that because I've been on some really narrow, steep roads out here, like out out when we did uh, the Vallecito Quarry or when Tammy's dad was out here, we did that quarry. That road was along cliffs, was super curvy and narrow. You could look down off the cliff, but we'll see. It's freshly paved. Dude, they got steep ass streets in San Francisco. Yeah, and San Francisco has steep streets. Well, they, they said this is so remote because back then they had a wagon trail, which they used to charge 50 cents and a dollar for wagons or a dollar 50 and then 50 cents if you were by yourself. It was like a toll road. And, back, and then eventually this came to be and they paved it. However, I read that they didn't get power up here till recently, power lines. They've been using solar power all these years. And before solar power, that was it. Generators, gas generators, which is very expensive. And then they had, before that, candlelight. The phone line just came here a year ago. That's how remote this place is. And it burned down three times. Once in the 50s, the 60s, 1862, I believe, or maybe 1873, I'd have to look. But it burned down three times. In the 1920s, the fire burned down hundreds of structures. And now there's hardly nothing left but residential, a store, a fire department, the cemeteries, that's it. It's very small at Iowa Hill. The Wells Fargo bank vault survived from the 1800s. See, it's nice and wide here. I'll continue to post some footage, folks. That way you can see what the road is like if you decide you want to come up to Big Grove or check out Iowa Hill. I got a few friends that like to check out these ghost towns and places that I go to for with their families. And you'll see that it's fairly safe as long as you stay on the road and there are some turnaround points. There's windy, tr the windy trail, windy point trail. But it does go up and it will continue to ascend for probably a good thousand feet because Iowa City, it's actually called Iowa City, it was changed Iowa Hill, is actually at the top of the Sierras almost. Oh, according to this, we're only at 725 foot elevation, it's at 2,000 feet. So. We're at 725 and it's at 2,000? <laughs> oh, lovely. Well, here's the crazy thing. Over the a thousand feet. The higher you go, uh -huh. Whoa. the less it gets. Yeah. That's weird. See this? Yeah. How? It's counting backwards. Yeah. It's supposed to. We're supposed to be going over a thousand feet to the top, not six hundred feet, unless it starts saying minus when you get to a certain elevation. I don't know how it works. You can't see anything up here. It's all woodsy. You can't even see the canyon. And they tell you not to take boats or trailers. Here you go. Nice vista point up here. Wow. This is the American River Canyon. This is called the Forest Hill Divide. This giant canyon. Because it separates the Sierras. It divides them. It's almost, it's, this is like the Grand Canyon of the Sierras. Because it just splits right down the middle. It's massive. So we're already at the top of the mountains almost. See that? Curvy, most steepest road. This is not a steep road. I've taken steeper on some of our hikes or some of our mountain journeys with the Jeep. This is a gradual ascension. Granted, we are going to a pretty high elevation. Not the highest, but it is up there. It says watch out. People spray paint things on the rocks. Wow, the river looks small down there. Woo! I can see it's just a little bitty thing. Wonder if I could see it here. Yep. Kind of, no, it's all forested down there. I seen it through the trees, though. Now we're going back up. Now we're at 50, must be the GPS. Now it says we're at 1587, so we got about 500 feet. Well, look at this hairpin turn. Holy shit. Now that's a hairpin turn. This is what it's like driving up uh, Pikes, Pikes Peak. Peak. This is like Pikes Peak. Yeah. You know? It's just like the California version. The one road, there's no 
guardrails, hairpin turn. Oh yeah, there's no guardrails. If you go off, you're dead. But see, this car has excellent control, so and good brakes, so that's not going to happen. Not to say someone can't hit us off speeding downhill, which they shouldn't. You don't want to speed downhill around these turns. That's just stupid. But there are people who do stupid shit like that. There are areas you can turn around, like if you change your mind, like see right here. There are also pull-off trail areas. Look at these trees growing on the edge of the canyon. Trip to Iowa Hill. Of course, we'll go. We'll bypass Iowa Hill. We'll go straight to the Sequoia Forest. We'll hit Iowa Hill later on. That way, the cemetery. It's got some shade. Everything's well executed and planned. Looks like they chiseled this to make the road. Probably did. Oh yeah, this goes up to the top here and then it goes along the river. It'll start going right and then you'll see the river to the left. Now look, it's going downhill. <laughs> It's not all uphill. It's a good road. I think it's a good road. I don't know why people keep, there's so many warnings and so many sites warning you about the road. It's because dangerous. It's narrow and people, you can't see the other people coming. That's the only thing I see about it being dangerous. Don't run out in front of me. Oh, he jumped. He's like, I'm jumping out of the way. He's not running my ass over. All right, folks, I'll be back. I'll clip these together. That way you can kind of see the road, get an idea of what it's like to come up here. It's very beautifully forested. There's some scenic vista points. The canyon's gorgeous. The river's gorgeous from above. But it is a narrow road. It is very well maintained. There's no logs or rocks in the road. There's some log cabins. Whoa. Let's see if I can get over. Sometimes there's a vehicle. There's more people back here than I thought. But then again, a lot of people come back here to hike. They go up to the Sugar Pine Reservoir to camp. You can go to Gro Big Grove through Iowa Hill. Of course, the whole journey will be like this. Even if we go past Iowa Hill, it's all going to be along the canyon to get out to Big Grove. It'll pull away from the canyon eventually because it'll start heading south to where Big Grove is. But you got to take Mosquito Ridge and drive on this ridge at the top of the Sears. It's pretty freaky, but it's awesome too at the same time because the scenic Weird. views are awesome. It's 9 o'clock in the morning and it looks like it's 5 o'clock in the evening. Yeah, it looks dark. It's very well shaded. Cool. We'll keep taking this forested road. We can't be far from Iowa Hill. Two, three miles. It's not a bad trek. It's not even a bad road. It's been going downhill. It's not all uphill. Some of it is, but not all of it. It's pretty. Look how pretty that forest is. The sun just gleams off it. I know, but it looks like night to like it's getting dark out. You like sundown? Yeah. yeah. It does, doesn't it? It's a good road. You can take a two-wheel drive. You can take a car. You don't have to take a Jeep or a truck up here, which is one of the nice things about coming out here is you don't need to. There are most places you have to, but not here. <laughs> Look at the haze. We're going to start getting into some freaking forest fire areas, some smoke coming up. Because this is only, guess what? When you keep taking this way, it takes you almost all the way to West Lake Tahoe like the back way in you're only like 20 miles from west lake tau yep we're heading into it it's north of Truckee, but it's all blowing this to north lake and to forest hill and this whole canyon it's blowing over to we're going back into it as we're heading back east therefore we're going back into the friggin fire just through the mountains is all instead of the expressway Alrighty, we'll keep trucking on. I don't see no cliffs or nothing. I just see woods at this point. This is nothing to drive on. 
people are scared of a little bit of woods and a narrow road and they're just they're obviously they're from the city and they never been in the mountains before because this is what you normally get just about driving anywhere in the Sierras. It's pretty though. It's some pretty woods. There's only two of their population is only 200 people. Oh yeah. Well there used to be almost 500 homes. I can imagine it's down to 50, 60 homes since there's only a couple hundred people, but Iowa Hill stretches for a good, I don't know, 10 miles, eight miles. So anybody who lives on these roads, it's considered Iowa Hill. Because it used to be a city. It was gonna be the state capital. Uh, instead, they had Sacramento be the state capital. However, if the fires didn't hit this area, this would have been the city of California, this, the state capital is called Iowa City. Most of the miners, it's believed they came from Iowa, so they named it that in 1851 or 1852. I'm not seeing anything. I think that we're almost in town. I can't believe how people, every website talks like all oh, big, like this is the hardest trek they've ever done. It's like, this is nothing. Because I've seen a sign that said eight miles and I know I've almost gone at least five or six of those eight, which means we're almost up in the town. See, this is a two-lane road right here. It's not all single lane like people are saying. It's single lane the whole way. No, it's not. You can fit two vehicles on this. As long as people stay in their lane when they go past you, don't try to get in yours. This is just another part of the Tahoe National Forest I've never seen. Everybody thinks the Tahoe National Forest is only around Lake Tahoe, but it, it goes 50 miles north of Lake Tahoe too or if not more. And you would never realize that you're in near Lake Tahoe because the forest is so dense and tra traverses so far north. Like in this region, there's no sign that Tahoe's nearby. We keep heading this direction though. Tahoe is to the east. We're going east. It's about 30 miles to the east, 40 miles to the east. You could almost take the back road to do it, which we're not doing, but you could if you real technically wanted to. Everything connects. The wagon trails connected the last chance. The wagon trails connected the last chance. Michigan Bluff, Deadwood, Colfax, all, and, all, and Mineral Bar, and all these settlements. These roads connected to. So it wasn't isolated from the rest of the world. It was just a Iowa Hill is a very difficult area to get to back in the day. He had to take a wagon along this. Good luck. Had big rocks and wagons would sometimes. I read a couple graves where the wagons like fell right off the edge and people died because the horse spooked or it rolled right off. It's very dangerous coming through here. And today it's paved, which makes it a lot less dangerous. Of course, in the winter when there's ice and snow, I don't know. You hit a patch of black ice, you could hit a tree, go over the hill, off the cliff, who knows. I'm sure it's happened at least once or twice. But that's when there's snow. Oh, now we're going north. It'll bend, it'll bend eastward once we complete our northern track. We... Up and down. Yeah, well, there's a post office. I don't know if it's still in. Oh, oh yeah, it's still open, they said. The post office. They closed the school, though, because they only had like one or two students. So now the kids either get homeschooled or go to Colfax. Of course, I won't want to take a school bus through here. I won't want my kid to either. Holy crap, yeah, we are heading into the smoke, guys. So much for scenic pics, huh? It's just gonna get more intense as we go deeper in. This fire's, here's Iowa Hill. That's it? That's the steepest road and, f... come on. Elevation, 2,840 feet. It's an abandoned house. They have a few of them in Iowa Hill downtown. I just get some video just show everyone as you come out to Iowa Hill 
you're greeted with this abandoned house. And we'll, we'll do as much as we can. Most of the homes and older structures burned down. So it doesn't get ruined or people don't go inside, smoke and drink. There is no smoking in the town of Iowa City or Iowa Hill. You are not even allowed to have a cigarette here. It's banned. City ordinance. We'll come, well, yeah, we'll come back and we'll check this place out. Because I want to walk around and there's a few side roads I want to take and see if I can find anything abandoned. But we'll come, we'll come back. We'll go to the reservoir. We'll go to the graveyards, which are side by side. There's three of them all side by side. And then we'll go check out the town. What's left of the town. There's the store. That's the only store in town. Look at the fire engine, the old fire engine. Oh, it's so cool. All overgrown. There's some stuff we can check out here, but we're only gonna be in Iowa Hill probably for about an hour between the cemetery and downtown. It's very small. See, there's the school. There's this Iowa Community Church. Big Dipper, Yankee Gems, Forest Hill, Shirt Tail Canyon. See how quaint it is downtown? The people are, people are supposed to be really friendly here, but you never know. If they don't like the way you look, it could be a problem. The cemetery's right up here at Banjo Hill. See it? I can see the graves through there. There's horseshoe pits here, too. Fire danger? Yeah. The cemetery is right down here. Back there. And there's the other cemetery that is across the road. See it? See the fencing right there? That's that's the Catholic cemetery and the Chinese. And then the other cemetery is off to the left, which should be next to the horseshoe. It's next to the horseshoe pits. But it might be further over here. Let's see. This is the other cemetery. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's old too, like 1850s old. Half of it's gone because that guy that built a homestead bulldozed it all. They used to have this square, square table memorial and that's gone. So that's the cemeteries. When we come back after the reservoir, we'll hit the cemeteries first. Then we'll do downtown. Then we'll walk around and then we'll hit the suspension bridge. That way we can do everything in order. This will take us to the res past the reservoir coming up. And here's Adelia Hill, which connects back around the Big Dipper, which we can go, we'll take Adelia Hill, or not Adelia Hill, we'll take Big Dipper down, and there's a couple little abandoned things down there, or historic sites. But there's not much, there's only about six, seven things to see. Most of the town's been burned down or is gone. That's why the trees aren't as large here, because they're kind of recovering from the 1920s. So they're only 80 year old trees. It'll bounce back eventually unless they have another fire. Okay, away we go. Heading to Big Grove, folks. I took you to Iowa Hill, and now we'll go to Big Grove. If I get any, if I see any interesting scenery, I'll turn the cam on. I usually like to film a little when I drive just to give you a, a reality perspective of what it is, what it's like to take a road like this. And that way you can see, is it safe enough? Should I take my truck, my car? What's the scenery like? What's the journey like? You get a feel for what we do here. Good road, great scenery, lots of history. Can't beat that. This is Lord Rick.